Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Last time, we went over some of the changes to how amiibo work in this game since the latest update, and this time, we only have a few more businesses to fund on Harvest Island, uh, so let's see what's left. First of all, um, if we go over here, Kix has now moved in. Cheerio, Jonathan. Did I do it right? Ah, uh, sorry, I've been trying out my accent to impress Kix here. His shop is now open. Hi, it's you from Cobalt, isn't it? I thought so. Good to see you, mate. Well then, anytime I'm not there, I'll be here. I'm looking forward to doing business with you, chum. Now, I've never been a cool cat. In fact, I'm a dog. But even old Harv can tell that Kix's shoes are neato. Haha, <laughs> well, that's enough endorsement from me. I hope you give Kix a warm welcome. And with that, we should only have two more shops to open. Uh, so let's head over here and talk to Lloyd once again. Hello, good friend. We are accepting donations to fund a merchant offering rugs and mysterious wallpapers, partner. Our goal is 100,000 bells. Currently, we have 2,110 bells in donations, which is just lovely, isn't it? We still need 90,890 bells. If you can spare even a single bell, great. We appreciate your support, friend. And we're yet again donating as much as possible. I have 97,890 bells as a donation, friend. We just reached our goal of 100,000 bells. Isn't that great? The new co-op will open soon. Alright, we reached our donation goal. So, we're actually almost done here. Uh, once the final shop is opened up, which we'll be donating to uh, tomorrow, uh, I'll go ahead and go over all of the establishments here. Um, so for now, I guess we should head back to town and go over a few other topics. Um, like things at resident services, specifically. So, over at Resident Services, there's a new feature since the 2.0 update that I am really excited about and haven't really gotten a chance to show off yet. Um, there's now a tape deck by, uh, the building. It's a tape deck for group stretching. Group stretching instructions. There are two play options. Move your body while holding a Joy-Con, or press buttons on a controller. You must be using a Joy-Con controller to play using body movement. Uh, group stretching tips. When the session starts, movement guides or button prompts will be shown on the screen. Follow along with the guide and try to move with everyone else. This group stretching session will start with button controls, since you are not using a Joy-Con controller. This is something that hasn't been in the series for a very long time. If I'm not mistaken, the last Animal Crossing featuring group stretching exercises was the GameCube one. Um, I actually really liked this, um, it was actually a timed event in, um, in that game where basically you had to go to the plaza at a certain time, and then you could basically join in, um, with the rest of the town. Um, so this is incredibly nostalgic, the song is even the same if I'm not mistaken, just remixed. Um, and yeah, I like having actual, like, dedicated tutorials this time, because, um, the original really didn't make it clear how to perform each, um, exercise. Um, 
And yeah, you can't use Joy-Cons. Uh... Oh darn, my left Joy-Con is not working, so I have to actually use button controls for this. Um... So yeah, this is like one of those really weirdly specific things that I never thought would come back. So it's really exciting to see this in a new Animal Crossing, even though it's not like the biggest thing in the world. Um, it's just really kind of fun, I guess, to see this finally uh, get acknowledged after so many years. What, like 20 years? Um, it's weird to think that, think that the original Animal Crossing is actually that old. Um, it's actually... Um, I think it's turning 20 years old, either this year... As I was saying, I think it's- I think the series turned 20 years old this year? Or, like, last year? I can't remember. It was recent, though, that it was the 20th anniversary, because it was a late, uh, Nintendo 64 title, originally. Um, and then, basically, it was not released internationally until the GameCube, uh, where, basically, there was the Japan-only Animal Crossing, or Animal Forest Plus, um, that was basically converted into the American version, and that was converted back into uh, Japanese um, as Animal Crossing or Animal Forest E+. So yeah, it's really cool that they brought back uh, that feature or that like um, that mini game. I never would have thought it would be back. So something else that's new since this update is um, some special foliage that you can find on specific Kappen Islands. Um, so the Kappen Islands are kind of random, so it's hard to actually show this in real time, sadly. Um, but you can actually find uh, two new things. Um, you can find vines and glowing moss. Um, you can actually take them and put them on your island as well. Uh, the, the glowing moss is kind of decorative. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do with it, to be honest. I did collect all of it I could find on this island. Um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do with this. It can also be used for, for crafting, if I'm not mistaken. Um, when I found an island with vines, I actually forgot to look for crafting recipes. So unfortunately, I can't actually craft anything um, with the moss. Uh, but you can also find vines that you can actually use sort of in place of ladders. Um, so you can put, put them against walls and then you basically have a spot to climb up. Um, frankly, with the way my town is laid out, there aren't really that many places where vines actually are helpful. Because most places where um, there's a higher level, I've already set up like steps. Um, that's the same reason I haven't really done anything with the uh, ladder setup. Uh, kit. So yeah, um, as a reminder, another new feature is you can actually craft um, ladders that you can actually put against cliff sides uh, to climb up. I'm actually not sure where that would be in this menu. Um, probably here somewhere. Nope. Um, must be an equipment then. Um, or not. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where this would be. B then. Maybe in tools. Yeah, it's probably in here. Um, there it is. The wooden ladder setup kit. So yeah, you can basically, um, use an actual ladder, uh, to make permanent ladders that you can put up against, uh, sides of cliffs. But I actually prefer the vines because they look a little bit more organic. Um, I feel like with the way I play Animal Crossing New Horizons, even though you have the option to make really elaborate cityscapes, um, I've kind of kept my town somewhat basic, and I think it's partly because I grew up with the original Animal Crossings, um, where you didn't have, like, uh, road customization and things like that, so you were a lot more limited in terms of overall design, so I'm just kind of used to making my towns a little bit more rustic and less, um, less elaborate, even though the options are there. I've thought about it, but I would have to overhaul so much of my town, and I really don't want to do that, so... Maybe someday I'll try to, like, um, tear down everything and restart. Uh, maybe not, like, restart the town from scratch, but basically move everything around in such a way that I could actually, uh, redesign my entire layout. Um, so, next up, I want to go over to the, to the little, um, 
cafe restaurant area I set up on this side of town. By the way, one thing I've noticed is these palm trees are no longer um, producing coconuts, and I don't know why. I tried finding out why, and I actually couldn't find an answer. Um, my theory is... Um, since the coconut trees on the other side are producing fruit, um, that these are like somehow too close to like you know the edges of like uh, this part here, or it's like too close to the water in some cases. That seems to be the common theory I was seeing online. Um, but I'm not really sure. Um, I'll keep an eye on it. Maybe these trees just um, produce fruit at a slower rate. Maybe it has to do with the the weather. I don't know if that's actually the case or not. If it if the trees are um, slow slower to produce uh, fruit in winter, I actually genuinely don't know if that's a thing or not in this game. Um, but yeah, over here I wanted to go over the cooking. Um, so instead of a crafting table. Um, you have to go to a kitchen setup, uh, and conveniently I have one over here. Um, should I make something with the open frame kitchen here? So basically, you have a ton of different ingredients that you can make using the new, um, the new, um, basically the farming materials you have. Like, you can grow, like, sugarcane and all sorts of other things, wheat, um, to make, like, flour or sugar, and then you can also use things like the other, like, vegetables, like the carrots and, um, other items to basically craft different recipes. Um, there are a ton of recipes. You can get them by, um, talking to villagers if you see them cooking in their homes. Um, so yeah, there are a ton of options. Um, the easiest thing for us to make right now is easily the orange smoothie because that only requires oranges. Um, I actually don't have enough materials to make flour or sugar, so we're kind of um, not able to make all of this stuff yet. Um, but just for, for the sake of demonstration... Um, oh yeah, you can also get um, recipes by catching fish. Uh, that um, are required for certain recipes, like uh, you can unlock things by catching like a sea bass or um, a dab in this case. So yeah, it's an interesting um, way to expand the, the crafting system. In a way, I almost wish it went farther, to be honest. I almost wish there were more, um, like, there were more crops. Um, because there aren't that many, so it still feels a little bit limited, but it is a cool idea to have cooking in Animal Crossing. I wonder how much this will affect um, Turkey Day in a couple weeks. Like, if there will be some components of the crafting um, in there, like if it's different. I haven't heard about anything, if, if it's been altered or not, so I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, let's make an orange smoothie. Like what I made, an orange smoothie. So, uh, these items are interesting uh, for a few different reasons. Uh, from what I understand, similar to crafting normally, um, if you go and sell an item that you've cooked, it'll generally be more... Um, you'll get more by selling a cooked item in comparison to an I like all the individual parts. So like if you sell a fish, like if a recipe calls for one fish, it's more uh, you get more bells by selling uh, the cooked dish than just the fish by itself. Um, another interesting thing is you can actually drink these and they have special benefits. Um, so for example, if we drink this, it's actually worth two um, uh, fruit instead of just one. Um, I wonder if the other dishes have greater effects. I imagine they probably would, um, but I'm actually not sure about that. Again, it's kind of exciting having a sort of like, um, a lot of unknowns because of this update just having released. So a lot of this stuff I'm having to kind of um, figure out on my own and also look up uh, guides online to try to figure out everything. Um, so, uh, next up, we uh, were told yesterday that we could actually order coffee to go, so let's see what that's like. So 
so, uh, Raymond is here, so let's say hi. What's wrong with enjoying a little coffee from time to time? Alright, oh, nothing at all, haha. <laughs> you know that feeling when it's Tuesday and the end of the week feels like it's a million miles away? That's when you need to power up with Brewster's Coffee. It won't make the week any shorter, but it'll make your brain go faster. Watch, brr. Welcome back. What can I do for you? One coffee to go. That's 300 bells. Sure. Cool. Thank you very much. I actually don't know if this counts towards the daily amount that you actually need to, um... That you actually need to, uh, buy in order to, um, basically unlock new items. So, um, you do have to, like, order coffee, um... To basically, um get new items from Brewster, so I actually don't know if the takeout coffee counts, so just to be on the safe side, I am going to order a standard coffee as well, um, because if it takes like 50 days to unlock the final item, I definitely want to um, order as much coffee as possible. Same with a lot of the Nook Miles achievements, I've been trying to um, get through those once a day if possible, just to speed things up. What happens if I say no? Coffee's gonna get cold. Okay, I don't think he says anything more than this. Um... Absolute perfection! Brewster knows what he's doing. The perfect cup, even at room temp. Just be careful. Too much coffee can mess with you. I feel like that was a little disappointing in some ways, because I feel like Brewster would actually act really shocked if you said that you wanted to let it cool. And having a very understated reaction, I mean, it kind of fits him, but it's also kind of charming seeing him actually, like, react really strongly, considering Norman he doesn't have uh, very big reactions to things. And speaking of reactions, we still have more things to go over for this update, including funding the final shop over at Harv's Island. Uh, so we're still not done yet with the content for the newest update. But I think that about does it for now. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Animal Crossing New Horizons.